Hello everyone and welcome back to the Engage UK channel for another quick review, another rolling stock review this time. Um, Graham Farish by Barkman Box, as you can see in front of us. And this is a review of the BDA Bogey Bolster Wagon. Uh, this number, uh, catalogue number on this one is 377601A. This is available in three variants in a load haul livery. In this Royal Freight Red Stripe, or Royal Freight Red rather, and in EWS. The uh, load haul variant only came out without an A suffix, but both the Royal Freight and the EWS have both been released twice. Uh, this previously had the number 377601, so this is the second release of uh, the same um, thing, obviously with a new running number for people who want to. Uh, um, have more than one with different running numbers. Comes as usual in the standard um, plastic and cardboard case. Below in this um, situation, they've changed it very slightly. It's still an outer cardboard case. Not good enough, sorry. Uh, but inside this time, they've got the um, encased in ice type uh, variant of the um, packaging. It's not completely encased, the sides are open, but uh, it's one of these where you have to open the top and then it will open out. They give you little, little protection parts. Um, while well, I put that down there, let's have a quick look at the extras you get, and there are loads. First of all, they give you a load. Now, this is obviously a flatbed wagon. It would normally be used for carrying things like um, steel um, RSJs, which you've got here. Uh, it could be steel pipes, anything long uh, you could carry in there. They give you a spare um, stanchion uh, base. They give you all the stanchions, I, I assume they call them, the things that stick up to hold the load. Uh, in fact, oh, there's two spare bases. Uh, hooks, so all sorts of bits and pieces you can use to put on. And the load itself, in this case, as I say, it's like two steel beams. Put on the top of the wagon. So removing the little pieces of tissue paper, another closer look at it, just wait for it to focus, there we go. Um, it's a nice model, it has um, white brake disc wheels on the sides of the bogies, a quite nice underframe, there's a little bit of detailing in, in inside there, hope you can see that. Um, roll freight livery on the bottom and uh, numbering here. You would pop all the stanchions in or however many you, you needed to and then put your load on the top there. Uh, it's metal wheels. Uh, let's have a quick check. NEM pockets. Yes. Yeah, I believe that. Yeah. NEM coupler pockets uh, fitted with rapidos but obviously interchangeable with any other coupling of your choice that will fit an NEM pocket. Um, so overall it's it's not a bad little model. Um, list price, I'm not too sure, I think they're listing at about £14, something like that. Um, you could pick them up around the sort of £9-£10 if you hunt around. I got this in the uh, Model Zone sale. I can't remember what I paid for it. It wouldn't have been more than £10 because I wouldn't have bought it. <laughs> Um, simply because it, it's the sort of thing I'd see and think, oh, it'd be nice to have one of those to go in a, in a mixed goods or something like that. So that's probably why I picked it up. But overall, not a bad little model. And um, plenty to do. It'll give you plenty of bits, plenty to, to do to add all those bits. I can see some pipes here as well. Um, so built up, weathered, it can look quite nice. It's not quite of the detail of their very latest releases, um, or for instance, uh, as, as good as the, the Sea Cow that I, I reviewed recently, but uh, still pretty good. I'm going to give it 8 out of 10, because it's, it's, as I say, it, it's, it's a good model. Um, and the underframe is fairly plain, but probably accurate. Um, there are all sorts of variants of these kinds of. Uh, um, wagon so yeah pretty good and it would be nicer then to do a, an upgrade of their uh, TEAs 
so we can have some l large uh, tanker wagons because uh, the ones that uh, that they release at the moment then they're, they're a bit out of date really and, and they're, no, they're nowhere near as good as the double the double o variants that Backman have been releasing so uh, eight out of ten for the Farish BDA still available well that's it for this uh, quick review I hope you enjoyed it uh, please comment rate subscribe or send me any um, requests questions suggestions they're all uh, gratefully accepted I'll be back again with another review or a how to or something of a similar description quite soon until then thanks for watching this one I will see you soon take care